Welcome back to Midday. This year, Erie County is on track for more opioid deaths than ever before. It's a problem that the Opiate Epidemic Task Force has been tracking and trying to tackle. And now there's a shift in the focus. They're paying more attention to one drug in particular. Last year, 307 people in Erie County died from opioid overdoses. And this year, that number is already at 245. The task force's big message right now is a warning about party drugs and specifically cocaine laced with fentanyl. And they want to remind people that fentanyl test strips and Narcan are both available for free from the county. And two on your side's Lauren Hall joins us live now with a similar trend in Chautauqua County. So what's the situation out there, Lauren? Yeah, good morning, Melissa. They're actually seeing the exact same thing, unfortunately, in Chautauqua County. Officials there say that people should assume that any street drug has fentanyl in it, including cocaine. I spoke with Steve Kilburn of the Chautauqua County Department of Mental Hygiene. He says that he thinks this is all an attempt to expand the market for this highly addictive synthetic opioid. I think its presence in other drugs and in some cases people ingesting it uh, with no intention of taking an opioid um, has or is essentially a attempt to get more people addicted. In some instances, it has the effect of killing them. So, Lauren, we just heard what Erie County is doing to try to combat this problem with the free testing strips and the community meetings and the Narcan, but what does Chautauqua County plan to do to help there? Yeah, well, Chautauqua County actually just launched a month-long campaign to support people and families who are treatment and also working to remove that stigma of using medications like methadone, naltrexone and buprenorphine. All three are FDA approved to lower the risk of relapse and overdose. These medications are available and they are effective. Um, people are on these medications who have a history of active opioid addiction and are functioning very well now in their families, in their communities, in their workplaces. Yeah, there are a lot of those people and this campaign will highlight some of them living in Chautauqua County who have stuck with their treatment with these life saving drugs. The overall message here is that while the outlook, these numbers that we've spoken about all morning, both in Erie and Chautauqua counties, certainly very troubling. There is still hope out there, especially with that treatment, the right tools and support. Right. It's just going and asking for it and getting that help that those exactly. families need. All right, Lauren, thank you for that.